Aloha everyone, and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name's Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. So if you guys don't know by now, you should know that I love Korean skincare. So, so much. I'm a big fan of Korean skincare because not only do I feel that as a society in terms of skincare innovation, they are just like light years ahead of us. And by us, I mean America. A lot of their products tend to have really, really high quality formulas at a low price point. Because I love Korean skincare so much and because of how affordable it is, I thought, why not make this video where I'm sharing some of my favorite Korean skincare dupes for a lot of the products that we find over here in the Western market that may be a little bit pricey. Because I, I'm cheap, but I don't like cheap formulas. I just like cheap prices. And I don't wanna spend a lot of money on a skincare product that will serve the same function as something that's half of its price. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Yeah, you do. I also wanna say this video is thankfully sponsored by Wish Trend. Yay! <laughs> What was that? Yay! Yay! <laughs> if you aren't familiar with Wish Trend, they're one of my favorite types of companies. The companies that provide the Western market with Korean skincare. A lot of times it's really hard to get your hands on Korean skincare because hello, it's in Korea. But Wish Trend is a company that connects us with some of the best Korean skincare products out there. And I especially like Wish Trend because they ship to a lot of countries that usually are excluded from being able to get Korean skincare products. Trust, I see your guys' comments where you're like, Hiram, this doesn't ship to my country. And I'm like, <sighs> I can't do anything to help that, but I'm sorry. But Wish Trend entails a lot of countries that usually are excluded from that. And I'm so happy to work with Wish Trend because when they approached me, they were like, take your pick of anything in our website. And I was like, don't tempt me, bitch. So it allows me to not only choose products that I've liked in the past, but also products that align with my personal philosophy on skincare, which is important if I'm gonna be doing a sponsored video. So thank you so much, Wish Trend, for sponsoring this video. And thank you guys for being cool about my sponsorships. As always, all the new products that I'm mentioning can be found at wishtrend.com and will be linked in the description box below. If you do feel like spending some money on the product dupes that I talk about in today's video, you can use code Hiram15 for 15% off of your purchase, which is a good steal considering that Wish Trend has a lot of affordable products, but also because because Wish Trend is also doing their cruelty-free promotion. All the products that Wish Trend offers are cruelty-free, which is really cool because it shows a good level of ethics and it's great for anyone out there who only shops exclusively cruelty-free and they're gonna be having some huge sales. So in combination with my discount code, girl, you are saving a lot of dollars. Dollar dollar bills, y'all. And also when Wish Trend reached out to me, they were like, hey, do you mind if we like send you one of our really nice fancy LED face masks? And I was like, oh, you sending me something for free? Yeah, hell no. <laughs> but they sent me this LED face mask, which I've honestly been curious to try for a while. If you've watched my live streams, you know that I've talked about it before, how I was like, I'm kind of interested to try. And so this was finally the opportunity and it's really cool how it works. I mean, insert footage of me trying it. It uses red light, orange light, and blue light, which I'm most familiar with red light and blue light because it may help with fine lines and wrinkles and acne in the skin. But the reason I bring it up is that if you guys are interested in trying out an LED face mask, you can use a code that they actually provided me with. It's Hiram50. You can save 50% off of your LED face mask purchase. That's fucking insane. So on the chance you were considering purchasing an LED face mask, there you go. Feel free to use that code. And let me know if you guys want a video on all the potential benefits of LED face masks because they're pretty cool, pretty revolutionary and show some promise. All right, let's get into it. So first off, a do for a brand that's commonly known to be a very luxury, Amore Pacific. This is their treatment enzyme peel powder. And I've talked about this product in the past and how much I liked it because I like powder exfoliators instead of scrubs because they're a lot more gentle. And this one has a high concentration of green tea, great for anti-aging benefits, soothing skin sensitivity, antioxidant protection, but this one is so expensive, $60. For so long, I've been looking for a dupe for it and I finally found one. It's the Green Tea Enzyme Powder Wash from Wish Trend. This one is way more affordable and it has a high concentration of green tea and is very, very gentle. It offers that powder exfoliation to where it breaks down with water. So you get slight scrubbing for a few seconds and then it turns into a facial wash afterwards, which I love because it ensures that you're not gonna be overly exfoliating or overly scrubbing your skin. I've been using this for about three weeks and from an ingredient standpoint, the closest duplicate I've ever found to the Yamori Pacific one. Also, this one is made specifically by Wish Trend. And the reason why I love that specific line they've created is because all the products are fragrance free. Yeah! 
affordable, fragrance-free, and good ingredient list. So I was very happy to see that and why multiple products in this video are actually by Wish Trend. The next one is a popular product that I see all the time on social media, the Skin Food Propolis Enrich Essence. But I would say this is more so like a serum oil. I purchased this a while back and started to use it every day. And while I loved the experience, it is definitely heavy, thick, hydrating on the face and almost a little bit too heavy for my personal taste. It can be a little bit expensive and heavy on the skin. So a great dupe that I found for it is the Biwish Trend Propolis Ampoule. I like this one because it has a very similar ingredient list, but it's a lot more lightweight and it has ingredients that are specifically good for people who have acne or breakout prone skin, which is very hard to find a propolis product aimed towards people with that skin type. Propolis is one of those ingredients where there are benefits, but the benefits of the ingredient don't make me be like, wow, I need that on my face. It's a good ingredient, but it's not one of my favorites, but this one has an ingredient specifically called Hotunia Cortada Extract. Act. Coming through with the bad pronunciations as always. And that is the first ingredient in this serum, which is amazing because that ingredient is a high source of flavonoids. And flavonoids are great for reducing inflammation, redness, and sensitivity in the face, and they're great antioxidants as well. I always try to look for ingredients that have a high flavonoid count. Hotunia cordata extract is a great source of them. So I just think this one's better overall in terms of experience and ingredient lists than the skin food one. Next, and this one is a little bit more broad, but I will explain. In the USA, it is tricky finding really Really good sunscreens that don't have sensitizing agents or don't leave a really intense white cast on your face. And it was something I struggled with for a long time and I got to the point where I was like, I am willing to pay so much money for a sunscreen that won't leave my face looking like Mrs. Doubtfire when she smashed her face into the cake. I just want something light and with good ingredients. And this is where I introduce the world of Korean sunscreens. I talk about them all the time because they are so incredible. But if you are someone who is tired of paying a lot of money for a high quality mineral sunscreen or you're just finding it difficult to find any type of good sunscreen, Screen. One of my top favorite ones is the Dear Claire Soft UV Airy Essence. I featured this in my best of 2019 video. I featured this in my best sunscreens for your face video. This one is incredible and I love it because Wish Trend carries this whole brand. This one is an SPF 50 and uses innovative modern sunscreen filters that aren't yet approved for use in the USA, but are just way better than what we have here. I'm obsessed with this one because it's so lightweight on the skin. Every time I use it, it feels like nothing. Like I usually apply three layers of this to get, you know, as much protection as I possibly can so that nowhere on the skin is missing out. But after I apply three layers, my skin does not feel suffocated at all. And I have oily skin. I don't like it when there's a lot of layers of skincare on my face. Every time I use this one, it just absorbs like that. I'm a huge fan of it. It does have some fragrance, but this is one of those products where I'm like, I don't give a fuck for the amount of protection it provides and the experience. It's so worth it. So you guys know that I'm always talking about double cleansing, but I specifically have a problem with a lot of cleansing balms. The reason being that they use an ingredient called polyethylene, which is plastic. It's the majority of plastic products that are in our daily life. And when polyethylene is in cleansing balms, it can get washed down the drain and negatively affect marine wildlife, which is why I personally don't like using a lot of cleansing balms, but it's also difficult because a lot of people don't like cleansing oils because they're very runny. They kind of get everywhere. They're a little bit messy. And I found a dupe. It's a good midpoint between the two. It's the Dear Claire's Gentle Black Deep Cleansing Oil. Now this one has a wrapper on it and I've been using this cleansing oil for a month. For the last week, I haven't been able to find it in my bathroom. I don't know where the fuck I put it. And I actually have three of these in my collection. <laughs> So this is just an extra one that I'm saving in the meantime, but I swear I've been using this one for a long time. I like this cleansing oil and a lot of other skincare YouTubers recommend it as well. I know James Welsh does because it's a good midpoint. It's not a super runny cleansing oils like you find a lot of the times and people usually don't like working with, but it's not a cleansing balm and it's not formulated with polyethylene, which will negatively affect the marine wildlife. It's formulated with caprylic triglyceride, which is gonna be a moisturizing hydrating agent alongside jojoba oil, soybean oil, sesame seed oil, all of which are great and antioxidant heavy oils, which is gonna help you remove the makeup and the sunscreen while also conditioning and protecting your skin. I enjoyed my experience with this one. It is formulated with some fragrance, but you guys know in cleansers and wash off treatments, I don't mind fragrance because you're only leaving it on your skin for a maximum of 30 seconds as opposed to a leave on product. And this is one of the top recommended cleansing oils that I've seen from the Korean skincare market. So I know that it works for the majority of people and I'd highly recommend someone who's trying to find a good midpoint balance between those two products. Next, and this is a very luxury brand, the Erno Lazo 
memory mask. Now, I don't have this one because girl, I would not spend that much money on that mask. But one of the main reasons that mask is popular is because it uses an ingredient called mugwort or the actual name of the ingredient, which last time I talked about this, I said it sounds like a Harry Potter spell. Artemisia vulgaris. Very, very popular in Korean skincare for a bunch of different reasons. The main one that appeals to me, reducing redness, sensitivity, and irritation in the skin. But it is not found often in Western skincare. And one of the only times I was able to find it is in the Erno Lazo Memory Mask, which is $120. So if you're looking for a good duplicate that actually has a higher concentration of mugwort, the I'm From Mugwort Mask is amazing. This one people rave about on social media all the time. And I was like, what is the big hype? I don't understand. Finally got it. And I used it for the first time. And I was like, oh. This mask was amazing because it reduced my redness and sensitivity so much. I really was amazed by the effect. And while it wasn't instantaneous, it was one of those things where I put it on for 15 minutes, I washed it off. And then in the morning when I woke up, I was like, whoa, my skin feels amazing. There's no redness, it's smoothed over. What is happening? And I understood the hype. And if you guys have watched my previous videos about Korean skincare, you know that the brand I'm from, I'm a really big fan of because of how high quality the formulas are. I look at their ingredient list and my mind is blown because I'm always just like, you guys formulate with such good ingredients and it's in glass packaging, my favorite. Very high quality, highly recommend this one. And then on that note, if you are someone who struggles with redness, inflammation, sensitivity in your skin, oh, girl, I feel for you because I'm in the same boat. A popular product that's usually recommended is the Origins Mushroom Relief Toner. And if you watch my video about Origins, you know I cannot stand this product because of the amount of fragrant essential oils that they use, the price point, how all the good quality ingredients are formulated at the bottom of the ingredient list. And I finally found a replacement for this one. It's from the brand I'm from as well. It's their Mugwort Essence. The awesome thing about this essence is that it's 100% Mugwort extract. And if you guys know, I'm usually not crazy about essences because I don't feel like they're necessary to a skincare routine. But after I used that mask and then I figured out that this was formulated with 100% of the ingredient that reduces redness and sensitivity. I was like, call out my name. I instantly was attracted to this one and I think of it as a perfect dupe for the Origins Relief Toner. You're getting 100% of the good ingredient that reduces redness and sensitivity without fragrant essential oils and any additional ingredients that could cause sensitivity instead of helping your sensitivity. Really good one, one of the few essences that I can stand behind. Plus I like it because it's super lightweight. It literally feels like water and sometimes essences can be a little heavy. This one just feels like water, it just soaks into the skin immediately. But if you are someone who does have more dry skin, wants a heavier essence that also helps to reduce inflammation sensitivity, the Bi Wish Trend Quad Active Essence is awesome. Like I said before, it's fragrance free, but I would also consider this a dupe to the Origins Toner because it's formulated with willow bark extract as well as corn flower extract, which is a good skin soothing agent, magnolia fruit extract, and black tea, all of which are great for reducing redness. This one is very similar to this serum, but is even a little bit more lightweight, which is great if you are someone who likes likes an essence, but you want a lighter layer of hydration, say you're using a different treatment serum. I would say this would be a good duplicate to the Origins one, but a little heavier and thicker and has a wider range of ingredients than the Mugwort Essence. And it's glass packaging again. I'm so excited to get through all of these products because they're almost all glass and see how I can reuse all of them. This would be great for some tequila. Now, if you're someone like me, and I know there's a lot of you out there because I've seen your comments, who is sensitive to the ordinary glycolic toner, which should be an awesome toner. I mean, it has glycolic acid at a high percentage it's very lightweight, but I'll be honest, my skin reacted really badly to that one. It burned instantly. I had to take it off immediately. And I find that a lot of you guys have similar effects. I highly recommend checking out an ingredient called mandelic acid. Mandelic acid is similar to alpha hydroxy acids like glycolic acid and lactic acid, but it shows to be better for more sensitive, irritated skin. By Wish Trend has their 5% mandelic acid water. This one's awesome because I used it for a few weeks before bed to get in my nightly exfoliation, but it's super lightweight, soaks in the skin very easily, just like the glycolic essence, but it doesn't add any stinging or burning sensation like the glycolic one did. It exfoliated my skin like glycolic acid, but it was very gentle. I never saw any irritation or sensitivity. And I find that mandelic acid can be a great substitute for anyone who also has a similar sensitivity to a high concentration of glycolic acid. This is also formulated with a lot of other skin soothing agents like licorice root extract, and it's fragrance free like the ordinary, so you don't have to worry about that. And then the final duplicate, it's actually duplicate for some of my recommendations. Now, you guys know that I'm constantly recommending salicylic acid cleansers like the CeraVe one and the PHA toner by the Inkey list because of their gentle exfoliation abilities, but you may not want to buy two different products or you may not
not want to spend that much money because I know for some of you, CRV or the Inculist are really, really expensive where you live. And you guys know I love the PHA toner because PHAs are a great alternative to AHAs because they're a lot more gentle on the skin while still exfoliating it. And they're really hard to find in products, but I found one that marries these two products. It's the Wish Trend 2% Mild Gel Cleanser. This one is super cool because it's a really gentle cleanser, but it combines both salicylic acid and one of the PHA ingredients. And I always have trouble pronouncing this, gluconolactone. Both of these are at 1%, which means it's gonna be effective, but really gentle for your skin. And primarily good for someone who wants the benefits of both of these, but at a low percentage, so that two different products won't overly sensitize your skin. And you guys also know that I don't like harsh exfoliating cleansers because I feel like they can be way too stripping on the face. But my experience with this one is that it was really gentle and I think it's perfect to use like three to four times a week and where you can get some exfoliation ability, but it's not overly stripping your skin. This has gentle non-stripping surfactants, which is a plus for me because I hate it when exfoliating ingredients are combined with stripping cleansing agents. And this one thankfully isn't like that. What do you guys think of these recommendations? Bitch, you better be grateful because the amount of time I took trying to find duplicate products and trying out every one of them for weeks on end was a lot of work. So don't you be complaining. Do you like Korean skincare? Have you tried some of these products? Do you wanna see more dupe videos in the future? Let me know because I would love to make more. Thank you so much again to Wishtrend for sponsoring this video. And if you guys are interested in purchasing any of these products, feel free to use that code Hiram15 for 15% off of your purchase. Again, I'm really grateful to be able to work with brands that share a similar skin skincare philosophy to me. Don't forget to subscribe to my second YouTube channel called Selfless, where it's focused on empowering you to make a positive difference in the world right now from your phone. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that you can see my videos every single week. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.